it's it's like 24 hours since John McCain was put to death. And uh, look at this this. It's it's like 24 hours since John McCain was put to death. And uh, look. Bomberan, you know. <laughs> Bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> anyway. Uh. Hi, Mr. McCain. I mean this with all due respect, sir, as uh, an elected official for our country. We the people elected you to be representative of the people. And all of you, against the will of the American people, have aided and embedded the enemy. You and the rest of Congress, including the President of the United States, have went against the will of your people. I can say with great confidence and speak on behalf of all Americans that your actions against this country are treasonous. But on the Senate side, we had, we had one person standing in the way of getting in positions that would have been very tough on government bureaucrats who didn't tell the truth. And that one person was Senator John McCain. He insisted that no committee be set up unless he was chairman. Obviously, his intent was to kill everything. And if somebody can't understand that, my answer is please get a life. Lie to the American people about ISIS has been showing its strength. The group beheaded 21 Egyptian Christians, As one of the executioners the speaking in English with an American accent. Recently, you've seen us on the hills of Hashem. It's James Foley, he had been missing for more than 600 days uh, when today his image appeared in a video posted on a website connected to the terror group ISIS. In the video that was released today, the men who killed James Foley showed and named the next hostage that they say they intend to execute, another American a freelance journalist. We saw videos of guys in orange jumpsuits being beheaded. But then on John McCain's laptop when he was in the Ukraine, his, his laptop was hacked and a video was pulled down that showed the use of a green screen and how they were making these videos. And it's right here, it's proof. It's the props and the lighting and uh, the director, film directors, everything that's behind it. It's all an illusion. Appears this morning that the lead executioner may be an American. The lead executioner may be an hey, American. A photo appeared on social media sites designed to tarnish his legacy. It shows McCain and fellow Senator Lindsey Graham posing with Al Qaeda terrorist leader Osama bin Laden. Let's do what Colin Powell says: throw everything we have at him, kill him, and and come home in a couple of months. But mm -hmm. look at the disaster over these years in Iraq. Well, I'll be glad to years. take a trip down memory lane and, with and, you. And, and they want, and I remember him supporting the surge when everybody was willing to get out of Iraq because they were so tired of it and saw no way forward. I remember the fighter. President Barack Hussein Obama has been supporting terrorism. I am truly disgusted that you people are my leaders. So I have to be honest, I've never liked them much. Hasn't been for me. I've really probably never will.
I remember him embracing a war that nobody wanted to talk about because he understood what it would cost to lose it. Also, recognize this is the beginning. This is only the first step. If we want to succeed, we're going to have to step by step do a lot more. So than you, what you're done. saying is a lot more than just Tomahawk cruise missiles yes. going in there. You want warplanes to go in there with pilots. They have air defense systems. They could be endangered. But are you also saying ground troops, U.S. ground troops, need to go in there have, and we, help? We could hit them hard. So and the sanct also, targeted sanctions along the lines of what the U.S. has done to Iran, is that what you want to see happen uh, I'd like in, to see in, in Russia? Like, uh, I'd like to see that and probably more. have succeeded not because of equipment, but because of your courage. And the world is watching. And the world is watching. <laughs> and so we have to make sure that there is a price to pay. The Russians love to go to London and Las Vegas. They love to raise their families. They love to have many sanctions we could take. Financial institutions, for one. They, they, believe it or not, the Russians have a very weak economy. President should be working with Congress to prepare a set of sanctions against uh, Ukraine. Uh, that prepare a set of sanctions against uh, Ukraine. Uh, that. McCain threatened sanctions against Ukraine. Senator John McCain's presidential campaign helped arrange an introduction in 2006 between McCain and a Russian billionaire, whose suspected links to anti-democratic and organized crime figures are so controversial that the U.S. government revoked we his visa. We need to do economic sanctions in a broad array of thing, uh, areas. Many, many documents are, were held back for, for no reason, and our, our goal on the committee was to just dump this stuff, to, to declassify it, literally, to the public. To those who accused him of wanting endless wars, you had no idea what you were talking about. I do not cry for a perfect man. I cry for a man who had honor and always was willing to admit to his imperfection. Uh, but, of course, uh, you know, uh, they withheld information from the committee. Uh, the U.S. government held all kinds of information from the committee. If you're thinking about getting in politics, the one thing I would ask you to look at when it comes to the life of John McCain, that it's okay to tell people, I screwed up. People say we can't do much, then I don't agree. I think the strongest, most powerful nation in the world, economically and every other way, can do a is, lot of things. Is the, is the president on the same page as Angela Merkel, the chancellor of Germany? Because she seems to be less inclined to take some of these steps the that great, the president is the taking. Great disappointment to me. Whether he lived life to its fullest. He was often disappointed, but he was never deterred. Honestly, sir, when you say that we are guilty of treason, uh, that is something that, frankly, I can't dignify with a response. I can't, I, I can't, uh, well, well, I can't because it would be beneath me, because it would be beneath me. 
Obama did ask Congress for authorization. He didn't get it from, you know, you're giving me that, that's, you're not impressed by that. I'm not impressed by that. The president told me and Lindsey Graham he was going to act. He didn't say he was going to go to Congress and ask for permission. He called us over to the, to the, in the Oval Office and said, they've done it, I'm going to act, and you guys can count on it. So, and then, of he course... just back from a secret trip to Syria. I understand, Senator, even your daughter didn't know you were there until she, uh, <laughs> she read about it. Uh, Bearing in mind, we can wipe them out today in Iraq, possibly even in Syria. For me... To listen to you saying there is no good option, I refuse to believe that. And you could do it. You can do it by, by diplomacy and negotiation, not bombs, Senator McCain. We cannot afford, we cannot afford to shed more Syrian blood. It's going to take more than one airstrike in one base in order to turn it around. But I think it's the right thing to do but it's only the first thing to do. And said, oh my God, is that Admiral McCain's son? Is that the Admiral's son? Is that Johnny telling us that our principal targets are schools, orphanages, hospitals, temples, churches? That was hundred, maybe half a million people have been killed and a lot of children have been killed and millions have been made homeless. And, and it's been extremely frustrating to see the same lies being repeated over and over. Uh, to in order to to push this country to go into another war. Well, <coughs> again, it's the cockroach theory. I mean, you right. you stamp them out in Aleppo, and they're going to recreate uh, and and, and re reappear somewhere else. Right. And then we see these pictures, which break the hearts of all of us. Arizona Senator John McCain found himself responding to a news report that a charity bearing his name got a million dollar contribution from a Middle Eastern government. Questions stemming from a one million dollar contribution from the Saudi Arabian government to the John McCain Institute. Laws prevent foreign governments from donating to political campaigns. I mean, I, I, I have no connection with the, the Institute. Articles of your fundraising your campaign was the point of contact for the McCain Institute, and you've also so, done fundraising for that. So, U.S. Senator John McCain has died at the age of 81. His passing comes after a battle with brain cancer. He never was tortured. They were there in the camp with him, and when he came in with his two broken arms because he failed to pull his arms in when he bailed out of his plane and had a leg injury, he immediately starts spilling his guts about everything. We do know that when he was there, that he cooperated with communist news services in, in giving uh, uh, interviews that, uh, that were uh, not flattering to the United States. He admits that he gave them all of the codes, all of the data, everything. Information shows that he made over 32 tapes of uh, propaganda for the Vietnamese government. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Do you agree with that? He's a war hero because he was captured. And uh, I'm not even so much blaming him for that because under torture people do that, but it turns out he wasn't tortured and then right. he started singing like a canary in seconds. 
Yeah, they call him, uh, the Vietnamese communists call him the songbird. But you don't have a constitutional right to turn on your own government and collaborate with the enemy of the nation. Isn't there also a long settled law that <clears throat> American citizens who collaborate with the enemy have considered enemy combatants? Matter of fact, that's his code name up there is Songbird McCain because he just came into the camp singing and telling them everything they wanted to know. That American citizens who collaborated with Nazi saboteurs were tried by the military, is that correct? That is correct. We'll focus on remembering Senator John McCain, who passed away yesterday, just 24 hours after saying he would stop treatment for his Senator brain McCain cancer. died from glioblastoma. It's one of the most aggressive, deadly forms of cancer, and the median life expectancy is just 14 months. And it's also very rare. And it's also very rare. And he didn't want nobody to check his background, because a lot of POWs that were with him in the camp said he was a, it was a collaborator of the enemy. And... Uh... All the POWs that I've talked to over the years say that John McCain is a lion skunk. So the bottom line is, on every American citizen, know you have constitutional rights, but you do not have a constitutional right to collaborate with the enemy.